here is my trusted keyboard combination that I've used for a number of years. I've used this Logitech MX mouse for about five to six years. This is my second unit. It's probably one of the best mice ever made. It's so ergonomic, fits really well in my hands, especially me who have quite large ones and it got like lots of scroll wheels and lots of useful features. Highly recommend it. It's a phenomenal product. Uh, I also have this really compact keyboard that has um, three different profiles. So if you have multiple devices, you, you, you can easily switch between them. It's backlit and really compact as well. So easy to take with you. Unfortunately, it has stopped working um, and I'm outside of the warranty period. And therefore I've had to replace it. And the first keyboard that I really came across as the perfect uh, replacement is a Perix keyboard um that's the name of the brand perix and they have a backlit black keyboard uh, for about 20 25 pounds uh but then i also saw that they have a keyboard and mouse combo with cats on them i'm not the biggest cats fan like i do like cats but i'm not crazy about them but i work a lot from home and yeah, it can get a little bit dull. And I thought, let me get a keyboard that spice things up. And of course, if I hate this keyboard, then worst case, I can just sell it and get at least half the money back. Because after all, there's lots of cat lovers out there. So I'm sure that if I put this up for sale, I wouldn't struggle to find anyone to buy it. And yeah, so let's unbox this. I'm actually a little bit surprised by how masculine the packaging look. It doesn't really fit the product at all. Uh, but nevertheless, I like the German flag on it because it's a sign of quality and good reasoning. So let's open it up. And I was actually a bit nervous ordering this because it's quite a bizarre keyboard and geez, <laughs> when you see it for the first time, you're absolutely shocked. It looks nothing like any keyboard that I've previously owned. As you can see, first of all, it's pink. Secondly, the buttons are all in different colors. There's cats and paws and um, whiskers as well. It's a bizarre looking keyboard. It's even shaped like a cat's head. Like it's definitely the type of product where if you have it in your house or in office, no one is going to walk past it without asking questions or pondering about it for a few seconds. It looks absolutely out of this world. And uh, yeah, let's take it out of this bag. Oh, look at this. It also comes with a carrying pouch, which is perfect because I take my keyboard between two homes. And look at this. It's not printed, but it's actually raised. See, it's almost like plastic, a little bit of plastic on it. Looks beautiful, really high quality. Like you wouldn't really expect anything like this inside um, a keyboard packaging because this keyboard combination cost me 22 pounds. The keyboard I was meant to buy was 19. So I thought, hey, in this kit, I also get a mouse. Um, so it's a really good deal. And if I take it out, Wow, it's quite something. It's really, really something. But you know what? The quality is amazing. Like I'm squeezing it, there's no creaks at all. I'm really sque squeezing the case, no creaks. I'm trying to flex it. Yeah, really good keyboard. And I'll say the feel of the buttons is a bit, yeah, it's soft, it feels a bit damp, which is quite nice because I also have another gaming keyboard and that's very, very noisy. And this one, you see? It's quite nice. It's not too noisy. And you also get a receiver. And if you look at the receiver, it even has the Perix logo on it. Great attention to detail. And uh, the mouse. The mouse is cat shaped. Got whiskers, got a cat logo on it as well. The same one as on the carrying bag. And again, it feels really good. Like, um, it's not too noisy either. Let's compare it to my um, Loggy MX. Yes, quite a lot quieter. Like this now sounds like an absolute racket. Like, how am I ever gonna wanna use this again? 
it's so noisy and um even the mouse itself you see i'm really pressing on it and there's no squeaks or creaks it's spot on quality really amazing quality i'm super impressed and then we have an adapter as well let's check out the adapter and there is the usb c to usb a adapter and surprise surprise it has a logo as well so you do get quite a lot of kit in the box um so you have the keyboard you have mouse adapter and then you have the receiver 2.4 gigahertz receiver and the pouch as well this is a lot of stuff for roughly 24 pounds really a lot impressive value for money and so far the quality is good um the space bar um the space button no not space the enter button um i wish that one was a bit larger like double height so that is something that will um take a little bit of use to and you still do get as a bonus um a couple of home page up button page down and end button in a column which is quite nice and compact um especially if you compare it to the logic keyboard so here you can compare the size and this is obviously why the logi keyboard is so popular because it's really really compact so here it's like two two more columns um of buttons and you also don't get the home page up page down buttons um and you also have some media and some um other types of shortcuts up there as well so that is the unboxing as much as i am impressed by the quality of this keyboard and how over engineered it is one of the reasons why you would buy one is to accessorize it and make it look really, really cool. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. First thing I'll need is a mouse mat. And recently I purchased this manga mouse mat, like I have a black one and now I have a manga one, which is really cool. It has more characters than I can even name. Uh, there's Pikachu there, Ash, there's Ash on there, Dragon Ball Z characters, Sonic, Hatsumiku, and lots of others. It really pops, lots of colors. It has red, yellow, and blue. So it's a very dynamic and very versatile uh, one, depending on you know the look that you want to achieve, whether you want a bit of a darker theme, lighter theme, pinkish theme, kawaii theme, etc. Um, so it's really cool and very inspiring. And then we put the keyboard down there. You can see that, you know, the colors blend in. And I think that, you know, the mouse mat adds a little bit of masculinity to the look and feel of the keyboard as well. And there I'm putting down the mouse. Next up, add uh, the iPad. And then next step is to add a couple of these squashy molds or squeezer molds they're like two competing brands but these are lovely nice and compact so we can scatter a couple of those around and all of these will of course sit on my desk and not here on the floor but for the purpose of recording this i'm just putting everything on the floor here because it's a lot easier to film see i'm keeping it real because uh, i'm not a youtuber i don't have a studio uh, so i'm keeping it all as real as possible See, putting a couple of them down. Oh, that one doesn't want to sit upright. I'll let it lean against one of its friends. Another one. And I think that's it. And then I should also add a couple of this, these ones. This is from the bad guys. I love it. Like you rarely see a spider as a soft toy. And this one looks awesome. It's even wearing like a cat costume. Bah! Then a couple of monsters. Then a couple of more squashy moles. I think this one is in the way, so I'll keep it out. And I'm also not gonna put 
this guy down because I think it's one that is better off hung on the blinds or sitting down somewhere where there's a lot more space. But it's really cool. It doesn't have any eyes. Mwahahahaha. So there you go. That is my setup. And this obviously sits on top of a desk. So I'll do like a proper desk uh, video at some point. But as you can see, you can really do whatever you want with this keyboard. If you want to darken it a little bit, you, you can obviously have a mouse mat and also lots of other accessories that create a bit of a counterbalance. Or if you want to go 100% kawaii, then you can make it look really, really cute. Get yourself a water bottle to match and, and have e absolutely everything pink. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cheerful. It looks a lot less corporate than my previous setup that's all kind of black and dark, which is fine in an office, but if you work from home, uh, you need to spice up your environment every now and then um, so that you are happy opening your email inbox on Monday mornings. And this is obviously a lot more welcoming from that point of view compared with just waking up in the morning and approaching uh, a desk setup that looks a lot corporate. However, this is all flexible. If I don't want this keyboard at some point and I want to redecorate, I can easily sell it or give it to a child. And um, so it's not really like painting your walls pink. And sometimes in life, you just need to be a little bit spontaneous, not take things too seriously. And buying this is one of those cases where what's the worst that can happen? If I don't like it, I don't like it. I go buy a black keyboard and then I live happily ever after. Happily ever after. But overall, I'm super impressed by this keyboard, the quality, the look, design, the features, the accessories that come with it. Um, I couldn't recommend it anymore. The wireless connection has been very reliable and I haven't had any problems with it so far. I've used it for a couple of weeks now. And um, yeah, every time I approach a computer, it's a keyboard that makes me smile.